Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and this is what we're going to make today. It is a little cascading mini album. It's a center cascade, and it has a little belly band on it, as you can see. Just slide the belly band off, and then it opens up, and then this cascades out like this. So it'll hold 14 photos, I do believe, 16 if you use these two sides. And then it just closes back up. And I have used the paper collection from our October kit, the Apricot Honey from Prima. So let's get into making this. It is super quick. These are fantastic for craft fairs. They make you a mint at craft fairs and you won't have any left over, believe me. And you can basically use some of your scraps for this. This takes maybe a one and a half sheets of a 12 by 12 paper. And then I have used about four sheets of this six by six paper. And that is it. The rest of it I use my scraps on. So get all of your scraps out, get everything ready. And I'm going to show you exactly how this is made. And I'm going to give you all the measurements. So you're going to need two pieces of a kind of thick cardstock. This is like a 120 pound cardstock. It's what I usually make my cards out of, but I'm using it on this. And this is seven and a half by four and a quarter. And you're going to need two of those pieces. And what we're going to do is we're going to glue these together. Because we need a piece that's a little bit longer than 12. So we're going to glue them together. Now this is a quarter inch score tape, so I'm going to go over about a quarter. One of the ways that I make sure I get everything straight is I put it up against my score tool at the top. Make sure that both of these are flush up against there. And then I know that I pretty well have that straight paper there. Alright, now we're going to do some scoring. And you are going to score at... Let me look. You're going to score at four and one quarter. Then you're going to score at five and a quarter. Then we're going to score at nine and one half. And then you're going to score at ten and one half. So that's four and one quarter, five and one quarter, nine and one half, and ten and one half. And that should give you three pieces that are four and a quarter by four and a quarter and then two pieces that are one inch by four and a quarter. So that's what you need right there. So let's go ahead and fold and burnish this. This is a quick and easy little mini and they make great sell items for the craft fairs this time of year. People love them. It's a big money maker. All right, we've got this folded. This is a Teflon bone folder that I'm using. Alright, and that's what you should have right there. It kind of looks like a little box. So we're going to lay that aside for a moment. Now you need three pieces that are cut at 4 by 12. So these pieces are all cut at 4 by 12. And you're going to score on those. And you're going to score at 4 and at eight and four and eight. Oops, let me see if I think went crooked on that one. There we go. And then four and eight. Okay, so that's all the scoring that we're going to need to do. Now you're going to fold and burnish these really well. Okay, you're just going to take all three of these and fold them accordion. Just like that and then we're going to take we're going to start back here at the back we're going to take this piece and we're going to glue it together with that piece so that'll fold that way that way that way that's why i'm using a really thick cardstock so if i need to fold it a different way then i can so all you need to do is glue these together Now I'm just going to use my art glitter glue. And 
and just make sure that you get up to that score line but that you don't go over it. Okay, there's that one. Then we're going to glue this one down. Now all of this should just accordion fold back and forth all the way up. There you go. So now you have this little accordion piece and that's going to go right inside here. Right between the two inside score lines. But before we do that, we're going to put some mats on this piece. Okay, these mats for the inside here are 4x4, four four, and I'm just using some scrap pink paper that I have had left over from another project. You can use all the same paper. You can use the paper that come in your kit, or you can just use different colors. It doesn't matter. This is just going to be your mats. So we're going to put that right there. Then we're going to put one on the center here. Then we have another one for this side. This is going to make it a little bit easier for you to see where our score lines are and how we've got this folded. We put our mats down. There we go. Then we need two little mats right here. So I have cut three quarter inch by four and we're going to put those right there and right there. So this is three quarter by four. Okay. And then we went ahead and cut the mats from our paper collection that we're going to put on top of this. So these are cut at three and three quarter by three and three quarter. We're going to put one there and one back here. There we go. And then we have two little mats for here. And these are cut at five eighths by three and three quarters. There we go. And I'm not going to put another mat on here because this is going to glue down on the top of it and it, it would just be wasted. So then we're going to turn it to the outside and we're going to put our mats here. Okay, we have our four by four mats. We're going to put those down. There we go. And then we have our two for the spine pieces. These are again are, are cut at three quarter by four. Okay, and then we have our mats for the front of this. And let's see. This, this is going to be my front piece. So I think I'm going to use my butterflies for the front this for the back and then the butterfly this for the back piece and then the butterflies again for the other fold in piece i may turn that one over that way so it doesn't clash so much that would work and it kind of goes with that black in the butterflies so there we've got that one all right. So there is our cover made. And as you can see, this folds in, that folds over. You could have put a magnet on here if you wanted to. I'm probably just going to put a little belly band on mine. But it's got plenty of room on the inside there. Okay, now this is going to glue down right here in between those score lines and probably just right on the top of that pink piece. So we're going to put glue on this piece right here. Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to press that down well. I'm going to flip it open and use my bone folder. You definitely don't want that piece coming up. Okay, there we go. And now it's just a matter of putting mats on here. Now, in order to save our paper, what I did was I cut our mats at three by three. Then I could get four out of a six by six sheet of paper. And yes, that's a lot smaller than this, but then I cut these at three and a half by three and a half. So I'll show you what it looks like on here. So see, it doesn't look bad at all. I, I like that. So let's go ahead and start putting our mats on here. I think if I counted right, you're gonna need 17 mats. And here again, use your scrap paper, but these will sell like crazy at the craft fairs because people need something to put their photos in. So go ahead and price them up a little bit to get your money back for all of the pieces that you've cut and the paper that you've used. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever sold anything like this at the craft fairs or if you'd be interested in selling these. Okay, there are our mats on, and you only need 13 of these, not 17. So just 13. So that's like a sheet and a half of paper. So that's not so bad. And then we're going to put these little mats down. And so I think I'm going to... Now, you could ink around these, and that would make them look a lot more finished. I'm not going to ink on these, but I might ink on the next one that I make. We've got a little craft fair coming up in the next uh, four weeks, I think it is. So I will probably put some of these in that. I have never had one of these left when I have put them in the craft fair. So they do sell really well. People like them. And, you know, you can make them different colors. I'm just making mine this color because I'm using the October e-kit collection. So, you can make them Christmas. You can make them fall. All right, so there's all your mats on. Now it's just a matter of embellishing. And this is how it's going to close, just like that with my belly banded that gives them plenty of room in there to put their photos and things. I forgot to put my mats on here so I'm going to go ahead and put those mats on right there. Alright there we go. Now we just need to make our belly band and do some embellishing on here. Okay now I have just pulled out some of the cutouts from the paper collection. These are just some of those little cutouts and we're going to put these on the front. Now I'm not going to pop these up because we're going to put that belly band on there. But if you're not using a belly band you could certainly pop yours up. So I'm just going to kind of lay them at different angles and different heights. There we go. So that's going to be our front right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the belly band on and then I will do some more decorating. Now this belly band is 1 inch by 12 inches and I have just kind of folded it around my little album. And I'm just using a brown cardstock that will go with those butterflies there. So I'm going to pull that not too tight but I'm going to pull it so I'm going to hold my album together and then I'm just going to glue it on the back side. There we go. So that holds the album together nicely. And then I have pulled out some pieces of bling and I pulled out my little my punches. I love these punches. You can tell I used that one until I've worn the silver off. This is a two and a quarter scalloped and then I have 
a two inch just regular round and we're going to put one on top of the other now this i am going to pop up because this is going to go on top of our belly band so it doesn't have to lay flat Okay, then we're just going to center it up in there and then this is going to glue right down on top of that belly band so I'm just going to put the little pop dots right in the center right across it there we go right there and then I have some flowers that were in the kit. And so I'm going to use probably some of those. I'm not sure exactly how. Let me look. I want to kind of stack them on that. Something like that. Okay, I think that's the way I'm going to do those. The flowers. Let me look. And I'm going to put them down with just regular glue. I may have to come back with some hot glue later. We'll see. Now you could certainly stamp something on here. I didn't want to stamp anything on there because, you know, you never know the person who's buying the album you don't know exactly what they want to use it for so stamps can be a little tricky so this way they have a beautiful decoration there but yet they can go ahead and stamp something else up here if they want to okay let me look at that that looks pretty good and then I have some little butterflies I just used my butterfly punch that Loretta sent me that I use all the time and I have just punched out some different size butterflies and I'm just going to fill in in some of this white area here I'm going to use a little teeny one right there And I'm going to put a couple, the two little butterflies I have left on here at the bottom, but I'm just going to glue those flat down. Even though the belly band can slide off to the top, I still want to put them flat down in case they want to slide it this way. And then I have some of these beautiful pieces of bling here. And I think I'm just going to use this color right there all right and that is it for this little album I think it's super cute and it'll be very useful you can slide the belly band off And then open it up and you have your cascading mini album like I said you can make this in any color you can go ahead and put some decorations and embellishments and things on the inside if you want to I'm gonna leave mine pretty plain so that the person who gets it can do their embellishing but and then just slide the belly band back on now if you don't want to put a belly band just go ahead under this little part and put a magnet I was just trying to keep it pretty cheap made and i know the magnets are a little bit expensive so i just did it this way all right guys that is the video for today i hope you enjoyed this if you did please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click that little bell so that you'll be notified when we put up new videos we will talk to you guys later thanks so much for watching Bye bye